G'day everybody and welcome to this next part it's called you look small and weak please toughen yourself up here it is little Johnny Cooper was a little wussy he did everything that his friends thought he found cool you see he was a bit too shy and did things that he didn't want to do and that has gone into his adult life because when someone told him that work was boring, he joined them and bitched about politics again. Like when someone told him that the right-wing parties are cunts, he voted liberal in because his daddy told him so. What people tell, when people tell him to toughen himself up so he can look after himself better, he got all shy at, but still said, yes, I should have fought that numbskull. But when an adult asked if you ask you if you want to take up boxing or karate to be wary, your friends say they hate you. And in some cases they will say, No you're not, wary mate. Be cool. Don't worry about the problems of the world when someone comes into your house and tries to rob you. Just sit and try not to piss them off, because a robber is mighty dangerous, man. When someone comes over to give you a punch, stand up for yourself. Because if you look weak, you will, you will be a target forever. And if someone tries to bully you on your first day at school, first look at the size. And if you're a big mate, stand up for yourself. Because really, the bullying won't stop if you don't fucking stand up for yourself. The next thing is, if your friends are annoying you by constantly wanting you to toughen yourself up, all you do is say, sure mate, and then you get on with your day. If you get an email from a friend who asks for $2,000 straight away and you know that, that it's not in your friend's character to do this, delete it. Fuck writing a polite note. It's so Catholic. And if your friend will do that, befriend if the friend will do that, defriend him straight away. Because good friends don't do that sort of shit. And if your best mate wants to rob a liquor store and has no car and, ask he, and he asks you to drive the getaway car, he will kidnap you. But you just stand up and say, no, I don't want to help you. And mind you, that's not realistic, really. So it's best to choose your friends wisely. And if you get into that situation, try and make a clean getaway. Because really, if it's the people in the liquor store he wants to piss off, he will eventually find some sucker to suck into his evil plan. If you see a crime being committed there, and there is not a policeman for miles, get your mobile and try it on ring. But whether people like, it, like you or not, they don't fucking play the big hero. It won't work, sunshine. If you get an email saying, congratulations, you have won $1 million, delete it, because it certainly must be a scam, cocksucker. Yes, when you start your life looking small and weak, my advice is to toughen yourself up and do it right now. Well, toughen yourself up in the way you could do it anyway. Goodbye.